Yeah, we're coming back for season eight of Cold as Balls. That's right, I said it, and I know what you're thinking. How many more of these are we going to do? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Back like we never left, man. Oh, my God. Come on in, man. Put your robe right there yes, on sir. the hook. Yes, sir. We get in the tub. The show just keeps getting better, man. And you know why? Because we keep embracing the world of greatness here on Cold as Balls. And today will be no different. Oh, sh- Yeah, yeah. Damn. You know, keep it as real as we can here. You know how we get down. Come on, man. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my God, we're back. We're back here at Cold as Balls with another amazing guest. This is Durham James, man, and we are about to have a good time. We're about to talk defense football. So buckle up. <laughs> here we go. Um, dude, first and foremost, congrats on all your success. Arguably the best safety that's playing football. First of all, I'm just thankful to be in the position I'm in. You know, all the hard work. You know, it took just to get to where I'm at. People didn't see the dark days when I wasn't out there grinding. When you say the dark days, right? Of course, you're talking about just the world of work. Yeah. Uh, let's go back there. Yeah. You know, was the NFL always the option? Yeah, growing up, that was my only my only thought that I had. I, I knew what I wanted to be in life, but my main focus, I wanted to be a football player. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Darwin. <laughs> Guys. We were at the top of the show. What? Come on, man. What are you doing? Like, we just started, but you guys come in with the bullshit already. That's Bam and Daryl. Hey, did you wear this because he's a safety? Is this your idea of being safe? God. They have safe. on hard hats and neon gear because they're being safe. Oh, you ain't tell them that. They, don't, they, don't, they don't really know. They don't read the emails. Come on. Everybody gets them. Okay, let's jump back in. There's a moment in everybody's career or a moment in the beginning of playing something that they realize they either got it or don't. Yeah. What was that moment for you when you were younger? When I was four, five years old. Four, five, God. Yeah. What is that you saw? My competitiveness, like being want to be the best when I step on the field. I knew that the, the, what I had and what God blessed me with. You know what I hear about you um, that I've, I've actually heard quite often is the role of a leader. When did that? become a thing for you. Watching my mom, her being a leader, her work ethic okay. every day, and so I kind of developed that myself. A question, before we go and get in the tub, where did you find your swagger for football? Probably when I was a kid, about eight, nine years old, that's when I started to kind of develop that, okay, I can get my swag, get clean. You know where I found my swagger? Why you trying? White hand, please. Thank you. I found my swagger with Old Spice Swagger Body Wash, which is available in a two-pack at Sam's Club. Guys, get it so you can be ridiculously fresh all day. White hand, please. Thank you. All right, man. Let's get in the tub, Come man. On, man. Stop being scared. Cut this shit. You got to okay. get in, man. Uh, yeah, Come on. You just got your tub. feet in. You I'm said we're going to be cold balls. Yeah, and, like, I'm telling even, you. you. We got toes in. We yeah, ain't yeah, got, like you brought it up. I'm the one that suggested that we get in. We ain't got, we we ain't got, got quads in. or nothing in, man. It's, I'm the one that came from my suggestion. Darren, come here for a second. What we need to do, and everybody here, stupidest shit I've ever seen in my life. Damn safety. Man, safety, now. He's safety out here, man. Stupidest thing you've ever done. No, yeah, bam, you better take it off because you had a rock coming your you way. You gotta get all the way in, man. Yeah, I no, see no, you no, easing no, in. You, no, you, you trying to ease in, man. Cut this, bam. All right, here's a good question for you. You talk about coming from a family. Would you? Yeah. I got. <laughs> Look at this boy. You talk about coming from a family of football. Yeah. And your father playing the game. Um, you know, as a young guy, experiencing going to the games, being in those locker rooms, how much of a factor did that play? <laughs> go, go, go. Take your ass over there. Bam. Go, bam. Just go. Sit down. <laughs> Sorry, man. Just take that, that guy's ass off. I can't fit that, man. Come on, Give man. me that. Here, give it to me. Come Sorry, on. put it on. You got, you got yeah, the wrong I helmet. Got it. Don't bring him back. Not that helmet, man. How much of a factor did that play? Seeing your dad on game days, what was that experience for you as a young one? So as a young one, I didn't get to go to like NFL games okay. or nothing like that, or like college games, but we got I got to watch my dad coach me. He he coached in the Pop Warner league that I played in. So he, your dad was actually He was my coach. What, what 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 are you doing? What do you want? Give me, give me this. Give me this. Just go away. Throw it. Throw it. Just sit there. We're trying to interview right now, man. Daryl, did you get a perm? What's going on with your guy, Scout? Huh? All right, well, you should have been prepared. 
Anybody care about your feelings? It's cold as balls. Which means I'm cold. I'm a cold mother I'll apologize to him later. We got a new HR department, so that's gonna come back and bite me in the ass. I gotta make it right. Yeah, it's all good. And I will, don't worry. It's we'll, all good. We'll get it right. Dude, let's fast track, man. High school, oh my God. Boom, yeah. right? When did it start to click? Like, when did you start to go, holy um, I'll just say, after my eighth grade year, when Florida State came and offered me, Oof. when I committed, I'm like, man, I'm a ninth grade. I got to hold up to this, and I got to be able to show them, like, why I'm committed. Why'd you choose uh, Florida State University? There's no university in the world better than that. I feel like <laughs> garden and gold. And to me, when I was a kid, the horse, it was something about it. When you plant that spear in the middle of the field, it just always caught my attention. Um, Let's get into the NFL now. I heard during your rookie year, what I talked about earlier, like this idea of leadership or speaking up in the huddle, you put that into play that early. What is it that clicked that made you feel confident enough to have that voice in those huddles? I always believed in this quote, like, leading ain't got no age limit on okay. So no matter how old you is, no matter who the oldest, youngest, I feel like if you're the leader and you're the guy, you can you can stand out. Yeah. You know, you give the program, you give everything your all. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to give this tub our all. We're not done. We're getting all the way in. There's a stool underneath. The stool comes out. We get deeper in the tub. I got another question. Why yeah. every 10 minutes you got to kind of ease your way down? No, I'm going to do it. Don't worry about nah, me. Nah, come on, man. Don't worry about me. Everybody, everybody at home know how I do. So you can believe that. Mm. Cut this shit, man. I'm going to go for Oh, no. Oh, they... Oh, Come God. on. I'm sorry. Come on. Come At on. this point, I have no words. I have See? no words. See? White hands. See, that's, that's me. Bro. What's your nickname? See? That's my yeah. Pooh Bear. They went in the back. They decided to read the email, and it came out with... Pooh Bear. Okay, guys. Okay. This is great. Thank you. Thank you. I bet you would pick something to come out just to give you an excuse to eat some fake honey. Come on, man. No, no, it's not. Who told them? Who told them? Explain the foundation no, no, of the nickname Pooh Bear. So when I was a kid, I was like, I was very red. I was very, like, light-skinned, right? Okay. And um, I was kind of fat. Mm -hmm. I used to always want to watch that show. And I used to always love Honey. So she like, you know, I'm going to call you Winner in the Pooh. Matter so, of fact, Pooh Bear. Here's what I love. You aren't afraid to be who you are. How about we give him an applause, right? That's what we need, buddy. Beautiful thing for nickname to stick. I got a bunch of them. Uh, little swag. Yep. Uh, pay per view, because you got to pay to see me. <laughs> what was the other one? Is it model ish? What is it? What they call me when I go to France? Madul. Something like that. Whatever. <laughs> but those are my nicknames. So yeah. I want to know NFL rivalries. Who are you going above and beyond to prepare for? The team that just won the Super Bowl because oh. in our division. You talk about the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah. What player on that team has you looking at their routes to be a step ahead, which you think is coming? Are we talking about Travis Kelsey? I feel like everybody come to pay to watch number 87 and number 87. three go. And, you know, right now, you know, that team uh, in the NFC, you know, the, the Eagles, right? Oh, oh you from Philly. Yeah, I'm from Philadelphia. I'm a I know you must Eagles. feel bad about the Super Bowl. I well, mean, you got to feel well, some type of way about that. We don't talk about that. I don't think that's where, I don't well, think that's where I was going. We need to talk about it. Well, we don't have to talk about it. I, well, where I was going is, that's another team that has some weapons on there uh, where I can see you probably studying a lot of long hours <laughs> <laughs> to, to brace yourself for. Uh, hey, all right, all right, hey, all right. Hey, thank man. you, thank you. Come on. Let's talk about, let's talk about the Chargers. Let's talk about the pressure on this program, right? Mm -hmm. The expectations are high. How bad do you guys feel you need a Super Bowl. The expectation every year is to win the Super Bowl. Yeah. I mean, if you're going into the season not trying to win the Super Bowl, like, what are you doing? Yeah, but and, every and team doesn't like, have that. The Raiders aren't going into the season like we got to win a Super Bowl. They um, better be. The Raiders just show up. We have the quarterback to yes. do that. And we have guys on defense like myself and Joey and Khalil. Yes. But we need to put it together at the same time and be healthy and go out there and do it. I feel like pressure is a privilege. We just got to witness some of that huddle talk. I don't know about you guys, but I got pumped up. When I heard pressure is a privilege, I was ready to go take somebody's head off. <laughs> so, uh, with that being said, I thought everybody would kind of get behind that. I thought it would <laughs> start a morale, people would clap and stuff like that. But you're right, it is a privilege, right? Hey, come on, man. Come on. All right, come all right. On. Okay, what? Oh, yeah. Mother <laughs> what is your problem, bam? God! You double iced me? 
All right. It's come on, man. Where you going, man? You got to get back in I'm in there. Trust me. It's, it's come on, man. Come no, on. no, no. It's good. Come on. Bam. Real quick. Come here for a second. This so we can kind of figure this out. So, at the end of this episode, right? At the end of this, son of the <laughs> I got a good mind to kill you. Huh? We weren't on television right now, but take your head off and I would eat it. Get over there. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. It's good. Thank you. Thank you, Bam. Another, another item lost. <laughs> All right. What other safeties act as threats to you at this point in your career? Threats. Give me a second. Go, get, get, get your ass. Get back. Get back. Go. What did I tell you? Get your ass. Get back. Get back. Here. The glasses are gone. Here, you can't see. Get out. <laughs> I'll get back in when I have to go to the bathroom. Both of you, get. Yeah. I'm scared of man normally. When it's double ice, that's how you use urination to get your body back to where it should. Okay? Give me two safeties that you feel at any point can make the ground shift. Uh, Buddha Baker. Oh. That's a dog. Yeah. And I say Kevin Byer. Jalen Ramsey, man. I know that you and Jalen Ramsey are really close. How'd you guys get so close? He was in college at Florida State already, and I was, like I said, I was committed. Yeah. At the end of my beginning of the ninth grade year, and I was going on recruiting visits, and he was my host a couple times. Oh, wow. Just seeing him about to be a pro already, what it took to get to be a first-round pick. That's dope as hell. You're only going to be who your friends are. After you came here to uh, L.A., well, Ramsey then left. Like, what the f man? Like, what was that moment for you guys? Well, you know, um, with me being on the Chargers, him being on the rounds, you know, it was kind of like we'll see each other, like, every now and then. But I'm happy for him. He back in Florida, the state I'm from. And um, I'm just happy for him. That circle is important, man. Iron sharpens iron. Yeah. I live by that. Yeah, for sure. All right, we're about to sharpen iron right now, man. I got a game for us to play. All right, you're a defense guy. Yeah. Um, You know, word on the street is defensive guys can't really catch. Uh, That's why they on defense. Well, who so said that? A guy named Carl. This guy named Carl I know started the rumor. So we're going to do a little game here that mimics the space and place of what interceptions are like. I'm going to throw the ball to you, and I'll put the pressure on what the catch means to the game. If you catch it, that's a point for you. Yeah. You can win. If I catch mine and you don't catch yours, then I can win. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. All right. Why ain't doing the football real quick, Why ain't? All right. First one going out to you. This is like, dude, this is like... It's 30 seconds left in the game. Yeah. They're on a winning drive, all right? It is a tied-up game, yeah. right? Fourth and eight. Coach said, we're not kicking no field goal. We're going for it. You ready? Okay. All you got to do is catch it. Yeah. Okay, three, two, one. Nope, that's a miss. That's a miss. Come on, bro. We ain't playing. That's a miss. We're not Anybody playing see that? no type of game. Anybody man. see that? Here, last one. Thanks, White Hand. I'll do the same one, brother. Right. Here you go. You got to get there. They screaming your name. You got to make the play. Right? Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear. You got to make hey, the no, play. He that, said nah. Pooh Bear. You ready? All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> nope. That's a miss. It's two misses. So, <laughs> I don't know how he got the contract. <laughs> it's my turn. Hold on. I'm going to have you throw me the ball. Let me see. Yeah. Let me put my gloves on. Because what of you, my hands. What you got going on? I got sensitive Hold hands. Hold on, now. Okay. You trying to hide him. Let me no, see. All right. Here, you got to catch. Now, wait. Hey, hold on. See? Here. I knew why you was putting on gloves. Let me see. Pull I can't it. even get the ball because you trying to cheat. You pull it. Pull it. You got to pull it hard. Lewis on his hand. Pull it hard quick. I can't no, get it. Lewis was on his hand. Whatever. It's, uh, they, okay, they got it, uh. Now throw it back. <laughs> this how we're going to get it. Now. now throw it back. Hey, there's a shot. Lil Swag's got it. Throw it back. Look at pay-per-view. Go. Yeah. He, he's back. the best. I don't want to throw it back. <laughs> throw he's it the back. best I ever played game. Back. No, that's it. That's that's it. That is it for this episode of Coldest Balls. As you see, I deserve the same type of contracts that has come this man's way. Okay. Hey, I caught it. I caught it. He did. All jokes aside, man. This is Coldest Balls. I don't think it gets any better. Guys, make some noise once again. But Pooh Bear. Hey, come on, man. I told you about that. Man. Yeah. I told you about Pooh Bear. <laughs> You got like a Christmas red sweater on. I got a little, yeah. I'm in the, uh, I'm in the holiday spirit right now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So are they. So, uh, hey, congratulations! You just announced that you're going to have a baby. I did. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you so much. Just announced it. Ah, uh, yes. She's going to have a sister. She's going to have a sister. She's going to have, yes, a little sister. That's our uh, uh, baby, uh, Jasmine Leah, and just made the announcement today. And Lauren and I are so happy. Oh. Thank you. Guys. Congratulations. Congratulations.
Thank, thank you very much. That's thank great. you. Know, and the crazy thing is, I was raised by women, and and I still to this day totally and completely 100% surrounded by only women. Well. Yes. <laughs> and I love it. Yeah. That's that's actually a good thing. It that's, is a wonderful that's thing. That's a really good thing. Yes. Um, so the, now you've we've dropped the rock for a while now, right? You're not the rock anymore. There's well, no more rock. Well, there, well, you know, in in many hearts there's always the rock. Yes. 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 Uh, but but uh, during the holiday season, um, uh, a character by the name of Duanta Claus uh, <laughs> takes over and becomes the uh, becomes a new identity. I see. Yes. So your Duanta Claus, because Duanta Claus does a lot of really good things. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Duanta Claus does a lot of good things, a lot of nice things. Uh, you know, he's all ages, all races, uh, non-denominational. Uh, he is very nice and, and, and a lot naughty, and so he welcomes naughty, too, as well. Yeah. I see. <laughs> it's a good audience. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he makes special appearances on sets. He does. You know, what we have started doing now is for my movie sets, we've, I, I, lo I love the idea of turning my movie sets into like what I describe as like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, where there's just, uh, and for kids. So I do a lot of for Make-A-Wish and for kids who, and families who are strong. Thank you. Um, you know, thank you. It's, it's, it's really, and I know you feel the same way, it's like the best parts of our job. So I do a lot with Make-A-Wish and for kids who are in hospice and we fly them up to or whatever set that I'm at and we just make sure that they have the greatest time. You know, we have Xbox will be there, they'll set up a kiosk where they're all playing Xbox or Lamborghini will come in and deliver cars for them to, to ride in or, and the crew is always so happy uh, to make their kids day, make the kids day. Uh, every director will have every kid come up and yell, action and yell cut and then I'll make sure that they come up and give me direction. Like I say, I refuse to talk to the director. The, the kids must give me direction. Oh, they come up and give me direction. That's so. really sweet. It's, it's very well, cool. It, it's really, you know, for what a great guy you are, what a good guy you are, and you're having so many good things happening for you and to you, for, for you to lose the title of sexiest man, this must have been a tough thing. Oh, man. To, I mean, how are you taking it? Because... <laughs> well, well, to be honest with you, you know, Ellen, it, uh, it's not easy. No. It's not easy, but I'll also be honest with you about this, and I'll be honest with the audience here, is, is the truth is, now I love Blake and I love his music, right? And, um, but the truth is, I will never give up the title of Sexiest Man Alive. I, li I literally refuse to give it up. Good. Well, you can still fight to win it back. In your heart and in, in a lot of people's heart, you still are, but you're going to have to fight. Maybe you just didn't work hard enough this year at the sexiness. I, I, that was it. I thought I did. Yeah, yeah. but he just, he came in in the, in the 11th hour yeah. and just beat under me the radar. The, right under that the radar. That was a surprise to everybody. I didn't yeah. expect that. Yeah. But yes. Nobody did. I thought I was going to be two time back yeah. to back. But. And then here he comes. Um, all right, we're going to take a break. Yeah, look at that guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway. So. <laughs> you could arm wrestle him. Uh, no. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. You brought a friend with you, and uh, we'll bring him out after this. Like, buddy. Oh, wow. you okay? Uh, yeah. God, you were pretty bored out here yeah. by yourself with this guy. <laughs> I couldn't wait to come save you. I said, I gotta go save my house. Uh. <laughs> hey, Merry Christmas, Helen. Look, look, look at me. Merry Christmas. Look at me. Yeah. 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 You gotta think. I know, yeah. yeah. No, well, we go way back. No, this is my I go good way friend. Yeah, I know. This is my yeah. good friend. Well, I'm, I go to her Christmas party, so no, you yeah. know. We had a, yeah. we had a talk. About you coming on, I almost shut it down. I yeah. came close uh, hey. to shutting it down. Uh, <laughs> I didn't because you're my friend, but just know it could have happened. Whoa. She asked me 
Kevin, are you okay with this? I said, well, it depends. How do you feel? We had a, we had a little back and forth about your attitude. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> Let's talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. We'll yeah. about it later. <laughs> you were supposed to be here a few weeks ago, and then the, your, your wife went into labor, yeah. and you have a brand new little baby. Yeah. It was tough. Uh, I had to choose. Uh, yeah. Yeah, look at me, being a dad. Uh, <laughs> no, I actually, I had to choose, because she was, uh, I think she was like four centimeters dilated. And I was like, it's, it's, it's the baby of Ellen, honey. Like, you got to, you know, I don't want to cancel. I, I mean, she was if, like, if well, you liked her, I would have chosen Ellen. Well, well, yeah. it, it was a conversation. I don't know. No, but it was, honestly, it was amazing, man. We were in a, we were in a hospital for 24 hours. She was in labor yeah. for 24 wow. hours. And I've realized that I'm, I'm helpless. Like, there's nothing you can really do. Even with your cheering, I got nothing to do with but that. But you're, you're just there. No, that's it. They were yes. like, Kev, you want to come on this side? And I said, absolutely not. Uh, I don't want to <laughs> I don't wanna go down there at all. So uh -uh. I just uh, stayed up top, said push uh -huh. as loud as I could. Uh -huh. uh, there was a moment where she told me to shut up. And I was like, will do. Uh, <laughs> and that was it. Then the baby came out. I cried instantly, man. It was, uh, it was an amazing feeling. My son, my daughter were excited about their little brother. It was honestly just uh, the feeling of knowing that another little one is dependent on me is the best thing in the world. That's what I love. Uh, yeah. Good man. Congrats. Thank you, brother. Congrats, man. Thank you. Another girl. Yes, another girl. Yeah, he can't make boys. Are you... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All that man. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay. Goodness gracious. Goodness. Well, once Kevin finds out who the dad is for his boy, it's going to be... Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep talking. Yeah, go ahead. Shut it down. This is just what happens when we get together. Uh, <laughs> that was pretty fast. Yeah. That was quick. Pretty fast. Yeah. Um, hey, tell me what you think about, you know, I don't know if this is true, but people talk about you running for president. What do you think if oh, you would God. run for president? Right. You know, I'll, I'll give a yeah. serious answer. I give, okay. you, I give you crap all the time. Yes. But, you know, this is, this is daytime TV, so I'll keep my real opinion between us. Just uh, <laughs> no, you know what, man? I think the world that we're living in today you're seeing you're seeing the real effect that genuine people like Dwayne have and the one thing about him is he's very serious when it comes to spreading that love uh, that laughter and just the up the upselling of life on a positive level and if he were to put himself in that position he would get my support uh, co-heartedly I mean unless it comes to a financial dollar then, then we got to talk yeah. um, but I know where his heart is I really know him so I know if he puts himself in that position it's for the better of the people I can only applaud him and support him for doing that I, I, I would Thank have you, to sit up well, would you run? I mean, would you, seriously, would you run? I would, I'm seriously considering it, yes. Well, you really? can't. He can't, he can't physically run. Well, I, <laughs> no, he can't. Physically, he can't, he can't run. His knees are bad. No, I can it's run. really That's bad a, knees. Yeah, I don't run in New York Marathon. That, that, like that'll that. be but tough I, if the I president ever had to run. Like, don't say, I president, get away! He's not going to be able to do it. He's, He's not. No, his knees Don't are bad. Don't encourage him, guys. That's it. His knees are horrible. All right. All right. That's exciting. That's exciting news that you would run. I think... Uh, would you want me on your, on your team? Would you want me to do something? <laughs> There's a lot I can do. What would you want me there's, to do? There's a lot you shouldn't do. But there's a lot. <laughs> no, I can I just imagine there's how if he was on my team. Is it now, should I do it now, DJ? You I'll want press the, the button right I'll now. I'll press the button right no, now. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I'll do it right oh, now. No, 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 yeah. no. I'm no. sick of tired of everybody talking about us like this. <laughs> All right, we have to take a break. We'll be back. Uh, <laughs> With Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart from Jumanji, yeah, welcome she to said the jungle. My name first. Well, so, it's only because of it's because of yes. where you were because you no. came out first. Yeah, that's, no. yeah. No. that's the only reason why. So, well, you don't have to get into she this likes now. Me more. She All right, so doesn't. the movie is about high school characters that get sucked into uh, this, you know, this whole situation. Yes. And in high school, uh, what were you like? I'll I'll start with you, Dwayne. Yeah, sure. Well, well I, was, I was I was I was I struggled in in high school because I was like a struggle, struggle a walking right uh, please just give it the real definition. Okay, I will. Well, when I was 14, 15, I was a walking contradiction because I was already probably uh, 6'3", yeah. 180, yeah. maybe 200. I had a big mustache. Yeah. I looked like I was 48. Yeah. I was struggling. <laughs> I was really struggling in high school. Yeah. That's me. That's me in high school. Whoa. But, Whoa. Uh, but yes. 
<laughs> Don't laugh like that. Don't. Whoa. That's okay. What? Well, there's my picture. Whoa. Well, well, what just don't, happened? What do you, don't. What? Don't you laugh like, like that. You look like a detective that's a DJ. Oh, right? okay. you know? <laughs> I'm trying. This is why, why oh. I need therapy. These oh. days. <laughs> I, I, okay, you laugh. I actually bought a picture of Kevin for you guys when he was 16 as well. So he, same age. Same age. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. Look at you. Uh-huh. <laughs> ah, he's doing this. I wish I was this tall, but I'll never get this tall. No, I'm always going to be shorter than everybody's cat. Yeah. I hate that I'm standing right next to the stove. That's what I hate, right? What? Like, there's no way for me to say I was a big child or nothing. Like, everything yeah. is right here. It's, it's the perspective. No, no, right it's really there. bad. This yep. is really bad. No taller than the stove at 16. Well, as you um, can see, I was a cool kid, though. He was, I was cool in I was high school. Cool That's kid. the thing. Yeah. Always cool. You can tell I never had a problem with being cool, you know. Hey, hey so you two, um, w are, you really are good together. I just said that during the break. I love you two together. What, what is it that, uh, that clicked right away when you met? Uh, on a serious note, it's a mutual respect and admiration for two individuals that started the same. You know, we both come from, from nothing, and our road to getting something is a road that we don't take for granted. It's something that we, we literally yeah. talk about and we, we, we bow down to the process and we don't ever want to go back, which is why he started the term saying hardest workers in the room, which is what I really live by and I, and I stand by him when he says that mm -hmm. because it says a lot about who he is and about who I am. We're not satisfied. Yeah, and I think there is. There's a mutual respect that Kevin and I have and, and you know, we, we have a lot of common friends in our business and, and when we first got together for Central Intelligence, a movie we did three, four years ago, we, we thought we were going to have some pretty good chemistry but then it really exploded into a really cool bond and brotherhood. Uh, there is a mutual admiration. Kevin has a lot of drive and ambition. Um, you know, his, his mouth is like the Energizer Bunny, but that's okay. I just kind of look by that. But I do have a tremendous amount of respect for this guy. And, uh, and, we, always, and we always have a... Uh, what? You know, I just, I, mine, I gave all... I was very positive the whole way through. No, I know, but... Yeah, but I didn't take any shots. He that wasn't a shot. That, I, but you waited for me Energizer Bunny is actually a good thing. That's why, that's why I don't like to go first. You see that? that that's why I don't like to smart. go first. Yeah, you go first. You see what I'm saying? You see what he did there, don't you? I'm not going to go first again. Okay. I bet you that. I'm not going first again. I'm just, I'm just saying, I have a lot of love and a lot of respect for you. And, and this is why, you know, it actually, you, you see it on screen when we get together. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah. It's just, and also, oh. I do a lot of the heavy lifting. Okay. That's All a, right. That's a, All right. Jumanji, welcome well, to the well, jungle. is in theaters everywhere. December 20th. He's we'll carrying be right on his back. back. <laughs> why do you think you were the one? From day one, I knew it. I didn't get involved in boxing for the fame. I wanted to put my mother in a great position, so that's what I did. I seen my mother working at a nursing home. She was barely making ends meet. Mm -hmm. And my dad was in prison. I rolled the dice. When did it become a reality, though? I was in Atlanta at the 96 Olympic Games. Okay. Uh, right after the 96 Olympic Games, I got a call from a company in Las Vegas, top rank. I went out there. They instantly cut the, the, the six-figure check. Mm -hmm. With probably a year and a half, I was world champion. Within a year and a half? Yes. Before, Unheard of. Before two years. And that's not supposed to happen. We need to get further down. Come on. Yeah, yeah, OK. Yeah, I was going to say that anyway. So we can go ahead. It's cold. Talk, yeah, well, that's why, you know, that's why I try to take my time, but You know, you're going to do what you want, because you're the champ. You know, champ, I don't know if you know it or not, but I've been boxing. And, and I'm seeing a lot of progress. Feel good? Yeah, no, no, it's fucked up. I know you've been seeing my, my boxing videos. Here's my question. Uh -huh. Does it at least look like, if I had to pick this up, does it look like I could have been a problem? Absolutely. When I watch you, mm -hmm. then I watch other celebrities and entertainers, mm -hmm. you by far is the best. Yeah, you know what? I I don't like to say it. What'd I tell you? Didn't I tell you that in the break room? Why you got gloves on? Why you got money in your pocket? Where'd you get the money? Was y'all in my briefcase? Wait, wait, Bam Bam, you got money? Come on over. I ain't just about it. Yeah. This used to be Kevin money. <laughs> now it's money made money. Yeah, if you want, I can hold it. No, I can hold holding it. this. It's okay. mine, huh? All right, yeah, you should. That's what champs do. Champ, I want to talk to you about your fight with Conor McGregor. He's the Caucasian Floyd Mayweather. You know, he's a knockoff version, but... It's a great goddamn comparison right there. Yeah. It may be the funniest thing I've ever... <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's, a hell of a, he's a hell of a knockoff version. There has to be a level of respect now after that because after yeah the i do i do i do i take my hat off to him yeah 
Yeah. I mean, he a dog. The best moment for me was after that fight when you guys hugged after the fight and he was like, I'm mad that they stopped it. You should have just put me down. He said, I didn't have no legs. I mean, I want the man to have a career after me. Yeah. It, sound, it sounded good yeah. when the fight was over. Yeah. You know, when I was digging off in his ass, he was like, you know. What is the conversation about you going into the octagon? Is that a real conversation? Anything is possible. I can go get a deal right now from the UFC. Probably three, five, four, five billion dollar deal if, yeah. if that's what I wanted. Yeah. You know. But is, uh, there, is that an interest? Like when you say, is that what you want? Is it even an, an idea right Kevin, now? Kevin, I'm going to be honest. My life is great. Smart investments. I can buy whatever I want to buy every month. God damn, every month. Yeah. I, I like the fact that you were the first showman of our generation when it came to the sport of boxing. Like from the money to the to the cars, your interest to, to, to the. Well, you know, I can't say that right now. I mean, it's not you. I mean, yeah, I'm talking, I did it. I, you know, when I, first of all, I love the Lord. Can I look at this? Is this the camera that I praise God to? Well, I, I love the Lord, too. Yeah. Hi, I'm Kevin Hart. And unless you hate laughter, click and subscribe. And if you do hate laughter, then you're a monster. If, if your woman is going through that insecure period where she's questioning you, she's going through your shit, my advice is stop her. Babe, stop. Whatever you're looking for, don't look anymore. You're right, I'm wrong, I need to do better. The reason I say do that is because you don't want to see your woman go to that crazy point of no return. See, I've seen a woman get here. It's unattractive. The reason why it's unattractive is because when a woman reaches a certain level of crazy, she doesn't know that she's being crazy. Everybody else knows. Everybody else sees it. Hey, that bitch in the corner with the diaper on her face is fucking crazy, yo. She's fucking crazy. She's a psychopath. Everybody else knows except her. Here's the thing. I was in that situation. I saw a woman get crazy. Let me tell you how I knew this one chick went wild, okay? We in the house one day, arguing, all fucking day. Gets to the point where I'm like, you know what? I can't argue with you no more. My head hurts. I'm done. I'm getting in the shower. I'm getting dressed. I'm going to the store. True story, people. That's exactly what I do. Get in the shower, get dressed, get in my car, start driving to the store. On the way to the store, I hit a speed bump. When I hit the speed bump, I hear a lot of noise in the trunk. Boom! 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 That's weird. I ain't put shit in the trunk. The fuck is all that noise in a goddamn trunk? I'm small. I get scared fast. So, I get out the car. I pop the trunk. This is some true shit. I pop the trunk. When I pop the trunk, and at me. I see her in the goddamn trunk. I see her see me see her in the goddamn trunk. I just caught you in the trunk of my car. You got to say something to justify what the fuck I'm looking at. What the fuck are you doing in the goddamn trunk? With a straight face. She looks at me, jumps out the trunk, rolls her eyes, and takes off, as if I never saw her. Now let me tell you why I had an attitude. I had an attitude because we live together. Like, I'm going to see you tonight. We have to address this at some point in time. I said, no, fuck that. We're going to talk about this right now. I get in the car, I drive home. Here's where it gets crazier. When I get home, she in the kitchen cooking, right? <laughs> I walk in the house, she said, hey, babe, you hungry? Bitch, what the? Oh! Wait, I don't want to talk about no goddamn food. I want to talk about why I popped the trunk and you popped out the goddamn trunk like a goddamn jack in a box. The fuck were you doing in the goddamn trunk? With a straight face, she looked at me, she said, I wasn't in no goddamn trunk. <laughs> Bitch, I saw you see me see you in the goddamn trunk. You ain't see me in no goddamn trunk. You must have saw one of them other bitches you be fucking with. Goddamn trunk. Man, I started thinking. I was like... Did I have another bitch in the trunk? I mean... Oh, no. I might have put another bitch in the trunk and forgot she was in the trunk. In the world to me <laughs> are bum hands. A bum's hands are the scariest shit ever. You can say I'm crazy all you want. I'm willing to bet y'all any amount of money right now if y'all walk outside after this show and a bum come up to you and flick your lip. Bet money you kill yourself tonight. <laughs> bet whatever you want to bet that you fucking kill yourself tonight. If you walk outside after this show and a bum come up to you, give me a dollar, man. What? Man, you better give me a fucking... Give me a fucking dollar, man. What happened, man? He shoots you? Motherfucker flipped my lip, man! Oh my God! That's the scariest shit ever! Like, you gotta get rid of that lip! You can't keep that lip! 
That lip's gotta go. You gotta buy a new lip. I don't even know where to get lips. <laughs> What'd you do if you got jumped by, by three homeless people and they held you down? Ha! Get off me. What is this about? And then the leader come out and you see him like this. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you know how dirty his hands are? Oh my fucking God. <laughs> That'd be the quickest bump that you've ever gotten in your fucking life. You gotta explain it. <laughs> hey man, is that a fucking herpes? Mm, it's a bum bump. What? <laughs> what, the, what the fuck is a bum bump, man? A, bu a bum bump. <laughs> Oh. 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 Hold up, hold up. I gotta get it out. I gotta get it out. Hold up. Hold up. What the what the fuck is that, man? It's a bum bum. How the fuck you let a bum touch your lip? I thought you were trying to tell me a secret. What? What, what the fuck was a bum trying to tell you? He tricked me. He was like, hey man. I said, huh? He got me. I said, Get fired on these bitches one time, man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bum bum. <laughs> watch, watch how y'all look at bums when y'all leave the show. Watch, 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 watch how defensive y'all are. Excuse me, man. Can you spare some change? Nigga, what the? <laughs> hey, hey, man, you better get your ass out of here, nigga. You out here trying to flick lips, cuz? Bump, nigga, I know what you You ain't gonna give me no bum bump, nigga. You better get the fuck out of here, man. Knock your ass out, man. <laughs> I don't want no bum bump. <laughs> no, he got my nigga like that. He told him a secret. My nigga leaned in. Mm, fuck this whole shit up. I think it was shit was all bum bumpy for like two weeks. <laughs> I really believe shit like that can happen. I'm a weird thinker, people. I'm a weird thinker. I'm glad that I'm a weird thinker, though. Kevin Hart, right now you're watching season three of Cold as Balls. Hey, um, Mark, call, call in the next pitch. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Hey. Hey. How you doing? I'm great. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, you're a businessman. I just felt like if I took this time uh -huh. to pitch you something, okay. it could probably make both of us money, okay? Okay. So just this is just what I feel could I happen. I got you. Here's my pitch. First of all, what, do you like kids? Yeah, I like kids. Okay, I love kids. Sometimes you just got to go out there, you got to say, how, how am I gonna make you happy, kid? Well, I'll show you how. <laughs> that's right, that's right. You laugh now. I laugh. But you'll see dollar signs later. Kids love sharks, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they're afraid of... Always. Big sharks. Right. So I came up with a business called Tiny Sharks for Tots. Now, my, my total investment is $1.6 million. $1.6 million? Well, a dealer that I know, which just has to be off the record, is who, who, who breeds these sharks. This is his hobby. Can we get a tub? Yeah, of course. Let me just finish my pitch. Even up! <laughs> Listen, hear me Even up. Up. Even, Just hear me out for a second, okay? Even up! Hold on, this ain't the time to be sleeping. I told you sharks, they gotta be up. Ralph! <laughs> Ralph! It's go time, buddy. Come on, man. All right, so what do you want from me? What do I get for my money? Okay. Here we go. So, 1.6 to 1.7 million dollars is what is what I'm paying for the batch of tiny sharks. So, with that being said, what I need is 20 million dollars because I can provide happiness to 11 kids. 11, 11 kids, kids for 20 million. Okay. Yeah. So we'll put all this under LSC, LSC, LFC, LCC. Kevin, Charles Kevin, sold Kevin. drugs. Hell no. Get in the tub. Let's talk. Okay, all right. Got it. All right. Ah! Oh! What? He wore the match. <laughs> Represent, baby. It's a, he's a businessman all the time. <laughs> he's so hey, oh. So, oh. I have Mark Cuban, 
on cold as balls. Holy shit. Now, I don't know a person that loves sports more than Mark Cuban. More importantly, basketball. Amen. I think I could probably go on record as saying probably the the face of, of ownership. You not only do it right, but you change the way owners look at owning their team. Amen. Yeah. Was that on purpose? Absolutely. When I bought the Mavs, um, owners just like stood on the sidelines, wrote the checks. Everybody told me to shut up. And I was like, no, I'm just going to be myself. I'm going to do my thing. I've been a basketball junkie my entire life. And that's why I'm going to run the map. When the players first saw you on the sideline and they first saw you jump up, high five, smack, smack a player on the ass, something like that. Did they ever go, hey, man, we need to talk to Mark after this game? Yeah, many times. Many, many times. times. I'm freezing. You got to be in. OK, got it. The tie, I know, might keep you warm, but come on. No, no, no. I'm going to take the tie off because I'm going to have to wear this again with a suit. We don't just get in the in the water. You know what I mean? So, a little story. So, the night before I bought the team, I went out drinking with my, my friends, right? And I saw Steve Nash and Dirk Nowitzki out having some fun as well. Wow. Tried to buy him some drinks, right? Because we were trash. And so, the next day, I was meeting the team. And I walked in and stood in front of the team, and Dirk and Steve recognized me. And all you can hear them say was, Hell no! And then from there, I was like, you know, look, guys, it's all gonna change. What did you pay for the team? Two hundred eighty-five million. Two hundred eighty-five million. Yep. What the fuck is that team worth now? Two point five billion. God damn! Even a, even a, even a. Give me the deodorant. Uh, give me a second, Mark. Okay. I'm just wanna plug this. Uh, we're talking about Old Spice. We're talking about sweat defense. Which the Mavericks could use a little bit. I should get a box of this. Stuff. Oh, Send it to you guys. Okay. so wrong, yeah, yeah, Kevin. This, no, it's actually good though. Uh, this has been brought to you by Old Spice. Uh, and uh, if you want to steal some courage, I suggest to go with this brand. Okay, there. <laughs> Where'd you get the money? I started the first streaming company back in 1995. I went to Indiana University. Mm -hmm. It was like, we got to find a way to listen to Indiana basketball living in Texas. Uh -huh. So the internet was happening, and I'm like, let's use this internet thing to figure out if we can listen to basketball games. Then it went from listening, then it went to broadcasting on video, then it went to going public, sold it for $5.7 billion, and a couple of months later, bought the Mavs. What did you start that company with? About $8,000. Are but, you kidding me? No, nah, I'm not kidding you. God! I just spent $8,000 on some fucking wine, you idiot. <laughs> Fuck. I got a good question for you. Uh-huh. What's the one thing that you were like, I got to have it, and they didn't want to give it to you, and you fought hard for it? What's the one thing that you like, Oh, no. that NBA championship. That's the fucking thing right there, baby. Well, that's that's a good one. Okay. Because you know what? That, that's the hardest shit ever, right? Because I got no control over it, right? It takes luck. It takes talent from your guys. It takes you know, um, culture. Did you ever think in your head, like when you were sitting on the side, I'm like, this was stupid? No. Here's what happens, right? So you get this big pitch from your general manager about why you gotta sign this guy. And he doesn't do it. Don't do it, right? No, we just paid some guy, you know, eight, 10, 15, 20 million dollars, but that's part of the game, right? Yeah. You fuck the game. Dirk Nowitzki. Yeah, really, Jesus yeah, come on, Christ. Dirk. I can't lie, I like your attitude, Mark. Appreciate that. I like the way you f move. You, you know? saw me on Dancing with the Stars then, right? No, I don't like the way you dance. <laughs> now, I def you definitely, you definitely were the definition of a white guy dancing. It was. You want to see the overbite? <laughs> I can say this about you. Here's what I love the most. I love the most that you are unapologetically you. Let's talk about your mouth. Let's talk about you and your, your, your finds. You know, everybody wants to set a record, right? So I, that's my record, right? Where you at right now? I don't know, 2 million, 2.5, something like and that. And fine. Yeah. It's a motion of proving a point, right? Okay. Let's, let's just agree that officiating over the years has sucked. And so I was like, F that, right? I'm going to do what I have to do to bring attention to improving the officiating. What do you think the funniest thing that you've ever said and got fined for? Remember our ref Joey Crawford? I know Joey Crawford. Joey Crawford would stick his hands down his pants and stare at me. He would grab his it's tearing me. <laughs> and, and I kept on screaming at him, stop grabbing your Any player that you've had a back and forth with. Oh, yeah. I went back and forth with KD one time. Why? Before. Why'd you go back and forth with him? Just because I was giving him sh about carrying the ball all the time. Like, carry, especially when he was with the Sonics way back in the day, he would carry the ball all yeah. the time. And I'd carry, and he was like, he would just scream back at me that I can't repeat. I remember setting a player off. What? James Harden. Like, you know, I was giving him sh and he looked at me and said, Kev, he said, I'm about to give you 50. And I want you to look at your team when I'm done. You tell him you did this. He went on to give us 50. The only time that's really happened, I hate the Lakers. So I always like to with them. And so I'm like, you should amnesty Kobe. Kobe came to town, 
torched us, tweets right after the game. Amnesty that. Wow. All right, you ready? Let's do this. this oh. Are you ready to get all in? I'm all in, baby. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I, I know you need two of these, so come on. Oh, well, that's just, <laughs> that's just come great. Come on. Mark. Yeah. Mark. Here's what I love, man. I love that you didn't bring, that you didn't bring the black guy from the show here. I got questions for him. Damon's a good dude, man. He is a good dude, but he, he don't buy dude. enough. He buys nothing. He buys nothing at all. Nothing. I want to I wanna know what's in his account. I don't think he should be on the show anymore. Damon, no, you got to have Damon. Damon's my guy. Damon's got a negative balance. And he didn't tell nobody. <laughs> Who's your favorite person on the show? Damon. Yeah, Damon. we hang out the most. Let's get into the, to the owners. Who do you not like as an owner? Oh, my God. There's probably like six or seven of them that always are trying to get me in trouble. Are they snitching? Yeah, what, just like... Mother snitches? Snitches. Billionaires are still snitching. You hear that down, yeah. not on the streets. You know how we do. I'm not gonna say who I don't like, but I like Balmer. I you like... can't. Why? Why can't you not get in the huddle if you want to? Well, they passed a rule saying I couldn't, but I said F it. I'm still gonna do it anyway. You need to start snitching back. Yeah, that's what that, you need to do. That ain't me. I'm, I'm getting all riled up, Mark. I'm Wait. espressoed up, baby. Better be lucky. I don't own no guy right? team. I'd be in a layup line out there smacking. You came backboard. this close. I came this. F Close. To be in the lame line? This close, man. Yeah. And I thought, I can't disrespect the guys that way. You know what I don't know about? What's that? The DeAndre Jordan situation. All right. Were you really driving in a car around? Looking for Looking for Like Chris Broussard said? Yeah. Hell no. No, lie. Hell, total lie, Lies. Right? So I had DeAndre's address. I said, OK, I'm going to go buy his house. Went there, rang the doorbell. They obviously didn't answer. I'm like, F this. Went back yeah. to the hotel. We were done. That's so it. it. It's like, OK, you got you to tweet something, right? Yeah. So someone's going to say something. It's, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's nonsense. Did you tap the glass? Did you put your hand on the glass? Take a little look. Doorbell, doorbell. Figured I'd annoy the f out of them. Yeah. And, you nothing. know, nothing. Maybe you had, like, one of those little mailbox slits. Maybe you lift it up. Look no, in no there. mailbox slit. No, no, I'm not a mailbox slit looker. No, no, no. no. Never. 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 Who does that? Nobody, right? I can tell. Yeah. I've heard talks about President Cuban. Is that true? No. I thought about it. Thought about it. Thought about it. Um, I think I could do it. I yeah. think I could do a job, slightly like my dream job or anything yeah. like that. But considering where things are, yeah. But then I sat down with my family. My kids are 10, 13, and 16, mm -hmm. and they all voted no. And the funny thing is, people were telling me to do it, and I was like, Why not? I don't have the time. Uh, at the time, I had to get a facial. I had, I had a facial booked. I had a sweetest massage. Call and right? when Come I think percent. about who my who my guys would be at along my side, look look what I'm stuck with. I'm stuck with the guys that's pitching me. A shark idea that got me a what? A big fat no. This is my cabinet. I just want people to know what it would look like. Be better than what we got. Yeah, well, you know what? You ain't lying there. Although we do not know his life. Are you and Donald close? He called me the other day. He did. For real. Did you, did you end button it or did you pick it up? It was like DC, yeah. private, right? Yeah. I pick it up two and a half weeks ago and he's like, Mark? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, what do you think about the stock market? Oh. <laughs> oh. And I'm like, oh, hi, Donald. <laughs> what do you think about the stock market? When we made the Porzingis trade, he sent me an email. He, he um, scanned the, the back cover of the, the New York Post, and he signed it. And he said, great trade. That's it. When he first announced, I thought there was no chance he's winning, right? No shot. And all of a sudden, he's calling me. And he's calling me, and he's calling me, asking me advice, talking to me about telling me everything he's doing, the whole nine yards. And so I'm like, look, Donald, you know, you gotta learn this stuff, right? You can't just wing it. Yeah. And that's when we came apart. Y'all right? just busted there. Yeah. And after that, he sent me, sent me a note and he goes, what happened? I'm like, <laughs> that's the, that's the, what it is. All right, Kev, I've, I've, I've been hearing all the questions from you. Yes, sir. Okay, now I, I wanna know what you really know about me. I know everything about you. First question, where did I go to school? Very easy, Indiana University. Right. I see up, bam. No, baby, come on, baby. There you go. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna get cold work. Um, I hold a Guinness World Book of Records. What's it for? Three pinky toes. A, okay, nope, nope, I got it, I got it. Oh, most technical foul. Most technical foul? No, biggest purchase ever on the internet. $41 million, Gulfstream 5. On the internet? You on the it? internet. Hold on, hold on. What are you doing? Is that a question? It's a conversation. Won't be a lunch break for you today. I hope you ate a big breakfast.
<laughs> it's for real. This is for real, guys. Yeah. Come on. Who's your friend? Memnon sorcerer. Great gods. She's the sorcerer? Wait a minute. Where are you going? Oh! oh. Hold on. We almost heard the biggest guy in the room. Look, look, wait. You, you think, you think, uh, Mr. T and and Sting and and The Rock? You think those guys are real? That's a bunch of dumbass nicknames by a bunch of dumbass people. <laughs> Tuck and roll when you hit. Oh! Oops. Oh, man, what the? <laughs> Do that. No, no, no. Wow, here we are shooting central, central intelligence. intelligence. They, they shut, shut us down. down. The fire trucks are out here. The Will you get the fuck out of my video? I'm Why do you do your video you behind I'm me? I'm trying to do my video. This is my video. You're in my Get fucking video. Well, watch your mouth. I'll slap shit out of you. Fuck you. Mm. You give me no choice. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Must be why. <laughs> I thought that was it. Wow. Here on Central set, intelligence. Central Intelligence. I'm shooting my video. Hanging out, I'm shooting my video. Well, I'm sure. Sure. He shoot his video. Fuck your video. No, fuck, fuck your video. video. I will, my fans my, will slap the piss No, you crazy. My, my fans will beat the fuck out your fans. No, fuck your fans. <laughs> That's right. One Night Sanctuary. And pray. You never hit me like that again. It's just nice. <laughs> and here and kind of all. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use what we salvaged from the beach. We're gonna build milkshake milkshakes. We're gonna build milkshakes. I'll get milkshakes gonna Okay, hold situation. on, watch this. No mistakes, A and B, Mark. Remember, Glenn, this is an opportunity for you to act. Play and drive. What is this place? We saw it in the coroner's... The corner, cor we saw it in the coroner's report. Lifeguard, Nick. <laughs> oh, shit, that was scary. <laughs> I don't ever want to wrestle. <laughs> Soul gazing. Stare into my soul, and I'll stare into yours. Come in. You are not my wife. Okay. Hey. Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs>
Gymnastics, that's your thing. Was it your thing or were you forced into it? It was my thing. My older sister actually did gymnastics. Uh, so that's what drew me to the sport. She didn't make it. She didn't make it. Your older sister is the untalented sister. She. <laughs> it's funny because we argue a lot, like have disagreements, and she's like, I think I would have beaten you. And I'm like, hold on, wait. Um, I don't think that's the case. Was she ever bitter? Like, I feel like a little bit because it was her dream, okay. but it was in a healthy way. Like she was just sad that she didn't make it, but she was happy for me. She wasn't like the angry. No, like I'm gonna poison you. Not like, like that. Put marbles. To no, her. no. So one sister? Two sisters and older brother. Two sisters and older brother. <laughs> what did the older brother do? He runs track. Was he happy for you? Yes. Why did you think about it? Because I didn't know what you said. You was like, what did those? he say? You Can scratch someone help those? me? Why isn't your brother happy for your success? No, he is. See, that's why I didn't understand the question. He is happy for me. Okay. Here's my question. You know, when you guys are into gymnastics, all the coaches are Russian. Not so. They're from all over. All of them are Russian. <laughs> They're not all Russian. They're all Russian. Is your coach Russian? No. No. I had a Chinese coach and then I Chinese had Chinese coach? Yeah. Do they have a good program as well? Yes. So you're saying that the Chinese are better at gymnastics? No, that's not what I'm saying. What Hello, saying? three gold medals, come on. Three? Yeah. Do you still have them? You think I would sell them? I would. Why? I'd probably get a nice little chunk of change. <laughs> for where are they? Where'd you put your gold medals? Are they in like a in a amazing safe. place? In a safe. Mm -hmm. Like where? Where Where would your safe be? Um, In a closet. Got it. Good, 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 good. Like the master bedroom closet? In the or master like, bedroom. Got it. Where do, you, where do you live again? Why are you trying to steal my gold medals? I'm not trying to steal like anything. Like you already have enough. I'm not trying to steal anything. Oh, what I'm, do you, if they go missing, I'm holding you for ransom. Let's talk gymnastics and why are, why is everybody small? Mainly most gymnasts are taller than you. What, what? Yeah, but it stunts your growth. That's why gymnasts are short. Why? It's all the pounding. I, I do a I lot said, of, did you, did I do you a lot of pounding myself. Yeah, I feel like you did since you're so short. No, I'm talking about <laughs> That's how I stunted my growth. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I want to get in deeper. Okay. All right. So we'll sit on the stool. Yeah, we'll sit on the stool. We'll go knees in the butt. Boy, y'all just get in there. Huh? They don't take, they don't really take no time at all. They just. It's like a hot tub. They just go for it, huh? Sure do. All right. That's why we're the best in the world. Got it. Hell! <laughs> God damn it, guys. <laughs> Shit. Just get it. I, I am, girl. Why are you holding it like that? Because I'm doing gymnastics. <laughs> Just doing a little gymnastics. <laughs> yep, that would have been a 10. God damn. Oh, sh That's in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Do you and the girls, like, do you guys ever, like, get catty? Or... Um, we do. Has there ever been a period where you were like, okay, I need a break? Absolutely. Because we come down to this camp. How long are the training sessions? Uh, six hours. Six hours? Six hours. What all are you doing? The same thing every day. A bunch of flips. A bunch of flips. Pop backs. Pop backs. Flippy uppies. Yep. Tumble tweeds. Yep. Waffle toffles. Waffle toffles. Mm -hmm. That's right. What's your favorite combination? My favorite combination, the one and a half step out to a triple twist. Oh yeah, the old one and a half <laughs> step out to a triple twist. <laughs> I used to bang those. I used to do bang a two and a half step out to a double twist with a tweet back. Oh really? That was my favorite. you have video of that? No. I'd love to see. No, 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 no. We, oh no? I would go lower. We're talking about a nine. Let's go, let's go chest. Yeah, all right. Let's okay. do that. Okay, let's do it. Thanks, white hand. Oh yeah. Go ahead and do that. Come on. Is it really that hard? I feel like you'd be a little sissy girl. Oh, I don't think like, we need to name call. That's not why we're here. Look at cool. you, you're barely sitting. I'm down in it. A wimp? Yeah, definitely not a gymnast. Here's the thing about gymnasts, okay? You guys are definitely tough. You're tough. I'm not even gonna take that from you. You're very tough. But why do you cry so fast? That is so untrue. This is how y'all cry. You wanna show you how you cry? Yell out a score. 16. Yeah, too bad that's the best score ever. So those are tears of joy. Gotcha. <laughs> well played. <laughs> are you gonna get all the way in? Yes! Off my damn back! So long! All right, you know what? I'm about to, cause you, I'm gonna, I'm about to take the stool you out. Take it. Ooh. That, there you go. White hand, you got that? <laughs> okay, that's white hand. All right. So, are you looking mm -hmm. forward to this upcoming Olympics? Um, it's up in the air right now. Why? Yeah. 
What do you mean, why? why the two you just time? heard me boot camp at yeah. six hours. I know it's not worth it at the end, but yeah, it's so a no, lot. Go through that again. It's a lot. So what would you want after gymnastics then? Acting. Acting? Mm -hmm. Acting is tough, Gabby. Okay? It's not like gymnastics. It's not like that putt putt shit. Okay, I'm a director. This is your scene. You're in the tub. You got into a fight with the girl. From China. Like fist fight? Yeah, one of the girls from China, you fought her. She whoa, whipped your whoa, ass. Whoa, I don't like this directing. Like, this is the, the acting. Like, oh, this shoot. is the character that you are. She chopped you in the neck. Okay? Are you serious? Yes, this is a scene. And you're talking to yourself while you're doing it about what you need to do next time to beat that Chinese girl that whipped your yeah. ass. Action! I feel like this is why you're not a Cut! director. This is why you're not a director. Cut! Wait, this Cut! All right, you failed as an actress. I have some questions for you. What is my best gymnastics event? That is very easy. What is it? Very easy. The pole vault. The what? Hmm? The what? What'd you say? The pole vault. The pole vault? Yes. That's e I thought you said you knew me. Right. Okay, next one. What's the next one? What is my nickname? Very easy. What? Your, your nickname is... Damn. <laughs> I'm I need to answer the question here. Anyway. Give me a chance to answer the question. You fake ass Morris Chestnut. You ain't no damn Morris Chestnut. <laughs> What's the nickname? Bree. Oh, shit. I forgot about that one. Moving on, next one. Okay. What was my favorite course to take when I was in college? Gym. You think I would do gym? That was my favorite course in college. I took gym twice. Man. Oh, mother. Wrong again. Stop. Such a whim. I want rapid fire questions right now, Gab. Ready. A thong or a full panty? What? Okay. Full panties, ew! <laughs> ew! Shut up! Ew, Gab, you, you got full panties! You didn't give me a chance to answer ew. the second question. Ew! Ew! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Young girl is out here in a diaper. <laughs> hey, Nana! Ew, I can see your panties, Nana! <laughs> it's that grandma bottom. Come on, Gabby. I don't, I don't wear grandma bottoms. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm grossed out. Tacos or hot dogs? Tacos. Ha, I knew it. The floor exercise or the balance beam? Beam. Why? Um, because a lot of people are scared of the beam. Ooh. Like, so nervous, and I always have to be dominant. Whoa, somebody just told about their freaky life. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be dominant. Give me your neck. Wait, what? 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 Okay. Well, you know what, on that note, this is cold as balls. Gabby, get out the damn tub. Gabby, get out the tub. Fine. Let's go. Get out the tub. You and your Damn diaper. See you Get later. Get out the tub. Right now. I'm getting out. Gabby Douglas wears granny panties. Gabby not... Douglas wears granny panties. Morris. Can I see that bucket of ice? Was just a joke. Where is it? Was just a joke. That's a joke. Joke. Yeah. Thank you, Gabby. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you, Gabby. Great talk, Gabby. Great talk. Honestly, Great start talk. to finish. Give me a second, Gab. Take some minute. I got a good shoulder. I can knock your ass out. What you about to huh? do? Say something, why not? I don't want to intimidate you. Knock your ass out. You see how far I can take it back now?